What's up guys? This is the Rifeman and I am back bringing you the next episode of my Napoleon Total War Let's Play as Great Britain. So to run off about last time, our forces have advanced extremely quickly through Spain and we have invaded the French frontier, besieging both Bordeaux and Toulouse. I think our option will be to, to carry on with this advance um, until um, this and uh, until Sir John Moore is finished finished his replenishment and then I may actually send him so I was going well no no I, I'm still going to send him to Marseille actually I think that's still the right thing to do in fact let's probably have a minor reconnaissance oh no so let's send HMS Le Redoubtable a French capture so Marseille is very weakly garrisoned and they do have a navy with 100 gun ship of the line, 122 gun ship of the line, Jean Jacques Etienne Lucas. A couple of the smaller ships, good, but still, more prizes. More prizes for the taking. But yes, once his army is finished and replenished, we will send them out for new duties. What have we got here? Emergentman, good. Let's gobble up this Algiers trade space. Excellent. Britain's trade empire is expanding significantly. And then we also have this army under Black Bob Crawford here in the south of England. So his job will be, once he's recruited, to hit to recapture Reen and to move on and hit Khan to really, as we've got this momentum against the French, to uh, to maintain it. And hopefully, we're hopefully continuing on the path of them being entangled on the eastern front with their elite troops, proper fuselage of the line, proper artillery. We can take advantage of a bit of chaos um, to the south. So let's take Alexander Abercrombie. Alexander Abercrombie and Assault here. Um, why can't I demand surrender? Which I might maintain a siege. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, I'll do, do, let's wait one turn. Ah uh, yes, you were falling back. Because you did not face that British stack, that French stack on your own. Um, this is where we find out it's gone horribly wrong. And a, uh, a French, a full French stack is coming down. I'm going to make sure... Ah! They're selling out. Well, that's useful for me. And they're also bringing in their reserves. Well, this reserve force here. Yes, that's useful, I think. Got the momentum against the French. We need to maintain that momentum and make strategic investments in our recruitment so that we maintain it, have a strong economy. We have a strong military force because we are ultimately going to be fighting against many other nations in future some that are our current allies so let's deploy the guns let's get a solid core of line infantry excellent let's get some more infantry artillery sorry so these are my these are all uh, one battery of six pounders one battery of nine pounders so the right flank is going to be ever so slightly more vulnerable but let's take four infantry units, stretch them out to meet, to try and equal or exceed the French line. Then put three units with the King's German Legion on the left with the woods for cover. So French cavalry is on the right. So this is where our first light dragoons will be. I suspect this bit of woods is probably too small to hide them in. Yeah. Need something like that, I guess. Yeah, that is too small. Oh no, they're hidden there. Good. Let's put the Duke in the centre. Good. French reinforcements coming in from the the uh, the my right flank. Oh wow, Lightfoot. Forgot about you. Let's bring you back. Right, so let's run them out. Well, running's a bit extreme. Let's just do that. So what artillery, what cavalry do they have? Oh god, the French Dutch 2nd Regiment, the Chevalier Lancier de la Garde. The French Dutch 2nd Regiment of Horse... Leger, c'est Chevalier. Horse Mounted Lancers of the Garde. I guess is a very weird, rough, horrible translation. But they look great and I love the tashes. And this guy's got a thousand yard stare. He's remembering the Russian front. 
even though they haven't been there yet. Okay, my nine pounders have opened up. And they're hitting their artillery first. Good. We've destroyed one of their batteries. And these guys have been very operatic in their in their falling. Um, citizenry. Ooh. French marine. So I want to pronounce that. Mariniers. But it's marinier. Oh. Marinier. Marinier is what I want to call it. Or mar mariner. They look rather good. And they have actually some discontinuity. So this guy doesn't have a tash. This guy has got a more of a spiky one, and this guy's got a full-on yard. This guy here has got a full-on yard brush. Oh, there he is. Probably deep black yard brush. That's another artillery team. It's bit the dust. So you'd be careful of these guys. Okay, let's target my artillery a bit smarter now. So one of my guns. To be honest, let's get my guns to hit their cav their cavalry because that's the that's the difficult that's the, the tricky bit. My nine pounders are doing the smart thing and are hitting their horse artillery. And let's go over to this flank because they are they are moving in. So let's meet them, match them with our artillery, and move my cavalry up into the trees. Good, seven lancers down. Still seven, but yes. Well, they've got armed citizenry. They get they're running now. Militia garrison, fusiliers of the line. It's the colon attack. Of course, we fire three rounds a minute, so your columns are actually more of a weakness. Good. Their howitzers have routed, so let's hit. Well, let's put one unit of artillery onto the colon colon attack, and let's put this other guy onto the regiment of foot. So I want to keep my these guys ready to skirmish with their horse artillery. So we've got a fusilier unit of the line, and I'm not interested in fighting with them. Oh good, we are destroying their lancer unit. You can see why the mathematical problem this poses. I mean, I suspect you do, you've all seen. Well, a lot of my, at least my UK followings, followers, not sure about my US followers, but it's probably seen sharp fridged in this era, era. Just about how much more firepower this formation puts out compared to this. But this is just more terrifying. Ah, so their infantry is running. The 11th Regiment of Horse Artillery. Cavalry starting to charge. No, wait, where are they? Okay. Okay, halt here. Try hide. They cannot charge what they cannot see. That's what logic says to me. And let's retarget my artillery. Yeah, my lance, my hussars are now hidden. Now, not quite sure where they are. As is their artillery, actually, over here. Okay, then, cannons. Get ready. Shot. Let's click. Barrage. Glorious victory, sir. Is soon to be yours. To be honest, let's keep just doing round shot, and then let's retarget you, and then both of you barrage. Commence rapid fire. Okay, their artillery's hit. Their artillery's has been committed, so let's bring in my cavalry. Yep, 
Their lancers will win the initial charge, but I shall win the following combat. So let's advance you. I want to watch this cavalry charge. Come on, my first horse. Yeah, we've lost more men in the initial charge, as we expected, but we will gain... We will do more damage in the long term. And then let's advance up this flank. Beautiful. Inspire your man. Although, to be fair, he's probably in, a, in an abysmal position when it comes to... Okay, you can engage that unit of militia garrison. Good. Good. So my cavalry have been shattered by their lances. But they've just got so few. That just goes to show you my assumption that my cavalry will win in the resulting melee is misplaced. Okay, it's before you guys back a bit, so you get the advantage of mass firepower. Retarging my guns against this unit of fusiliers. Oh, they're starting them, they're, oh, they're charging in, but they're getting absolutely pasted. Good, the cavalry's retreating, but their <laughs> their horse artillery is legging it, leaving their crew behind. Hundred and nineteenth regiment, holy moly. It goes to show how many it goes to show what resources the French can put into the uh, still put into the battle. Good, we've hit their guns. Mass retreats across the board. Artillery on the left, still firing round shot. Hit the marinier. Mariners, marinier. And it's just a chaos of smoke and rifle fire. Well, musket fire in the centre. I want that eagle. Oh, it's not an eagle. Ah. It's that chasseurs a cheval. Maybe I shouldn't put my general so close behind my line. But yes, it's a complete rout. A few days of the line. Oh, and the column of attack is moving in. But it's just absolute chaos. Okay, so get my artillery to pound the centre. See, so this is why I quite like my like my artillery placement, is that both of these batteries can all focus fire on this huge clump in the centre. Particularly if it means things like... Well, I mean, ultimately, I'm not maximising my musket fire, but that's okay. It's still pretty darn devastating. Keep an eye out on these militiamen too, because ultimately, because these are, these are a garrison, I don't have to worry about maximising my my kills. Yeah, let's get my cavalry out of there. You're pretty elite. Don't want to lose you wastefully. Let's run you a bit more directly out before my Highlanders engage. strong barrage barrage my other battery it's their general most likely yeah it is their general yeah well you just snipe at them 
There you go, the mighty French Empire being knocked back. Okay, now I have a pop. And then let's move these guys up. To be honest, I'm probably even being a bit more, a bit too conservative with them. Okay, I definitely didn't need to move you. To be honest, let's send my cavalry over here to chase after French garrison, French garrison, French garrison, the marine, and the marines. Hit the marines. Hit this unit right in front of you. God, that artillery is just lethal. Holy moly. One of our units has used all its ammunition, sir. Good lads. There we go. Let's just do a bit of shuffling. To be honest, they may as well just have open season on on whatever's left. Then everyone else hit this unit, a few nears of the line. Probably speed up a little bit. And then let's go, go, Gadget Wellesley. Yeah, this it's just this single unit that's refusing to route. There we go. Let's continue because I want to farm some kills. Come on, go, go, Gadget Wellesley. The trick is to get past the lance point. But yes, I may as well give Wellesley some extra kills. He was a fantastic character in Sharp, at least, under uh, when he was David Troughton playing him, not Hugh Fraser. David Troughton plays a wonderful bad guy. Not that Wellington's a bad guy, but, you know, as an actor, he plays some really good bad guys. Just keep chasing after them. Hopefully actually making some progress. So I don't need to, to kill everyone. I would like there to, them to have a small garrison if possible. Two men left. It's okay, let's run them manually into him. Good, now it's just that guy. Got him. Although they've chosen a frustrating route to route. Wellesley's after. Someone's still on the map. He's not going to make it. He's not going to make it in time. The bloodthirsty Wellington. Ah, close victory though, apparently. Even though it seemed like a fairly com like an empire. An empire Darth Maul, they, they have ammunition for days, they can fire volley after volley after volley. 700 men lost for 3,700 of theirs. I think that's a very good exchange ratio. Yeah, you gotta worry about your garrisons, France. Oh god, and the Austrians are after you. Well, the Austrians have taken Venice. Fascinating. All the Prussians are, on, are at the gates of Vienna. So this could be where, where it all turns around. And ultimately, we and I end up declaring war on everyone else. Although hopefully not Lisbon. I like Lisbon. Oh, trade agreement cancelled. Austria does not want to trade. That's not suspicious at all. Let's 
keep pumping out merchantmen from these southern ports. I'm not so bothered about maximising it in my in my UK ports anymore. Off the Wellesley. Yeah, that's just that's a nice capture of Toulouse. Peacefully occupy. It's a nice market. Marseille is right for the taking. Your replenishment is really slow, so I might just hop you onto ships now. Let's take Sir John Moore and land his army off of Marseille. Then take the navy under Nelson and move against Toulon. And you move against Marseille. Ultimately, oh, so I fight that now. I think I demand surrender. Well, it looks like he's sticking his middle finger up at me. That's what I see. Let's immediately just go in again. You have a unit of Knights Watch, Black Watch that's just arrived, so you're probably going to want. It's got, well, I've got Black Watch, Marines, Highlanders. I'd like some skirmishes if I could get them. Two units of King's German Legion. Good. At some point, in the military academy. That's true. Let's check my research and tech. Oh, obviously, I've got a while to go before I have to worry about that. Although, I do need to build a modern university at some point. But I need to build a court of appeals first, and that'll take me nine turns. So long as Copenhagen remains secure, I remain allied with Sweden. The question is, do I just send? No, I want to be. I want to be cautious in this side of the world. I don't want to have any. If I, well, when I do inevitably declare war on the on the on the rest of Europe, especially the west of Europe, um, I'd rather defend this bottleneck till my armies from the west can come in. I think that's my preference. See, Madrid's got a mass construction program going on. Swiss line just says foot units. Cool. Yes, I think I might assault Bordeaux. And then fortify them. Assuming that the French are going to respond. But they may just be pushed from so many angles. Oh, that's a mighty position for artillery. So only one, so what are you? Six pounders, these are all six pounders. Well, they're all going to have to advance regardless. So let's just put a... No, that's too many. Too much artillery in one spot. So let's position you there. You here. You're going to take this hill. My fusiliers going to advance in the centre then a mixed formation are going to advance on the right flank and a very wonky formation is going to be advancing on the left flank and you will be backed by my cavalry whatever remains of it and the general staff can be in the centre cool Pretty sure they're moving up. Yeah, they are moving up. So let's not let's not dan dilly dally about. Although my infantry very helpfully doesn't want to deploy in a nice way. Then let's move my general in the centre. I don't know what, I'm actually move my... Keep my artillery moving up a bit closer. 
group. Take my guys on the left. Excellent. Militia, French garrison, lots of junk. Chasses a cheval, fusiliers of the line, which, while well, they're not junk, they've not got many of them. But they're very nicely allowing me to get into position. Lovely horse teams. So where is Bordeaux? Bordeaux is off in the distance. Forty seventh Regiment of Foot, sick light foot on the extreme flank with their nice epaulets. He's got the bugle in his face, but he's not doing anything. Let's see if I fix some of my fusiliers. Oh, yeah, I remember the fusiliers look pretty much the same. Unlimber. Because they are they moving up now? They are. Now I've brought my guns to bear. They know they cannot hide. Run my light foot because they're gonna be some of the first units to engage. Well, they're advancing on the left, so I want to advance up on the right. the issue because by the looks of it they're not going to let me let's get everyone ready I might be able to massacre one unit of militia but these these guys are going to have to take issue with that and I've since, I've since now put my guns back dismantled my guns let's put my Put them more in the centre on this high ground. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not a great formation, so let's optimise this a little bit. So there, okay, that's the first French unit. Yep, yeah, some refusers taking a bit of a pounding. Got a bit of a charge off, but I don't think that's gonna. I don't think that's gonna work to their advantage in the long term. So who's this back here? It's their general. Can you engage their generals? Your two T's out of range. Engage that unit. you guys out a bit more. So 
Notwithstanding the French, let's commit those guys into the melee. A bit too late, I fear. No, not too late, actually. Advance up into the woods. The fuses of the line in the centre are doing alarmingly, alarmingly well. So I'd like. There we go. So once they've broken, get your bayonets on. Engage that fusilier unit on the flank. Fuse, yeah, fusilier centre's broken. But they're now being hit by these guys in response. Okay, these guys need to. I need to move these guys out more aggressively to hit that fusilier unit of the line that's hitting my square formation. And you need to do this. Put the guns against them. Make you run. Let's get my general staff down here to give my men get my men to take heart. Terrible formation. That's how it goes. Okay, let's do a rally and inspire my men. That's right, you should be ashamed. Move them up. Oh, is there a unit behind me? It sure is. Just about to end. They can continue to engage them. Chase down the chase down the garrison. Let's reform the centre after the melee. Artillery fire. Soon to be My light infantry will keep skirmishing them. Let's take this regiment of fur. Good. Let's just effectively pivot you all around like this.
And then this gate of Wales is chased down that fusilier of the line. Good, we've killed their general. To be fair, he was an infantry, he was an officer of a foot line regiment, so he knew his days were fairly numbered. Good, the French have been routed from the field. Sir, sir, our general is under attack. Yes, and he's also chasing men down, but we have won the battle and captured Bordeaux, so I'm more than content. The general needs all of the sciences. Eh, I don't know, some others might be handy. But yes, 948 lost to 3,500 of the enemy, total capitulation, and the successful capture of Bordeaux, which we will also... We could loot. We're going to loot Bordeaux. Then let's repair it. Oh, a supply post. That is absolutely perfect to have in a frontier town. Excellent. Pamplona is under repair. You are replenishing. Do you have anything so useful as that? You have a merchant house, which I can now upgrade. I feared uh, some shenanigans coming from out of Marseille. They also need to... Your recruitment is ongoing. Well, probably could do with getting... Six pounders, nine pounders. Maybe get some grenadiers. Some British grenadiers would be quite cool. Yep, then have you landing on here so we can start pressuring Paris from the north. We would at some point like to engage the Dutch, but probably I'm going to my next time I'm going to likely do that is through pushing through France. So I like to have this army go and tap capture um, Torino and start fighting in in, uh, in northern Italy. One army will move forward and start moving to the Alsace of the Rhine region. Then one army and the army that's going to be landing in Normandy will push. Well, one will push through Normandy into Paris. One will clear out this area of French troops. Then maybe, or most likely, I'll probably recruit another army and start. Uh, well, make sure we've got to capture Corsica and start pushing through the remainder of uh, French territory and soon to be Austrian territory or Swedish territory. Um, I'll have to pick who I'm going to declare on next and ultimately it could well be Austria because they have cancelled trade with me for, for no reason. But we're all very friendly. See, it's only the French that are hostile. And I'm going to have to keep an eye on all these smaller regions and maybe use that to pick pick who I'm going to fight next. Let's hit enter. Right, spies are moving in. So let's see how the French rebalance. Try to frantically garrison somewhere. Something. Ah, there's a French army. Ooh, and they are, they are on the move still, looking eastwards. And that's what I want. I want their focus to be against... The, the coalition in the east. Although I think Prussia is about to recapture Prague. Yep, they just did on the map. I saw it just happen. And the Russian um, Russians are just being the Russians. Hmm. But yes, once I knock out the French, it should be a Oh, don't, you say, don't you come here stealing my territory? Stealing my research? Dang. That's not how you make friends. Spy network established. And a Percival slaughter in Prague. I said originally I wasn't going to be spying on it. It was it was French. So I'm going to keep him there, actually. Nic Louis Nicolas Davo. Okay, I'm going to keep you here. I could move you over to... It's Oldenburg, but I want to sit you here on the river, actually, to make sure there's no easy routes into Hanover. Um, then also prepare to retreat over this critical bridge to get back to Copenhagen. They have 18,000 gold. So let's recruit some British grenadiers. And then that will be all you get. Steam powered factory, it's pretty good. May as well get a banking house. And then let's go keep my drill school. 
Let's just check my infrastructure. Yep, cobble roads, cobble roads, and then let's fortify Bordeaux. Because that's what this chap is. Full stack, lots of troops. And they've already repaired it in a turn. Raid it again. <laughs> then you blockade La Havre if you're not going to be able to not going to be able to capture it. Cool. It's got two uh, semi semi decent navy there, not really doing anything. But yes, once they once these guys have been suitably galvanized, they're gonna hit Rain and get ready to to refer, to defend against Mark Beaumarchais. It's Apu de Beaumarchais. Um but yes, look at that timer. I think that's the end of this part. So thanks for watching guys. I hope you've enjoyed and I will see you next time where we'll continue our push into French territory.